Hey guys, so I am here with the perfect palette tag. Um, I have my questions written down and I'm just going to, I'll leave them below, that way if you wanna do this tag, you can. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So the first question is the best packaging. And I'm gonna mention this palette a lot in this video just because it's probably my favorite, which I think is another one of the questions. Um, <clears throat> I have a lot sitting here, sorry. Um, the best packaging goes to Kat Von D. All of her packaging is always really nice, no matter what palette it is. Um, <clears throat> I even have like some of these little trios here that look at that embossing. It's really nice. Um, so all of her palettes are really, really nice. Um, nicely decorated, but this one is probably my favorite. This is a Mi Vida Loca palette. Um, and I just absolutely love the design and this is what the palette looks like on the inside um, and I'll just show you that it's like a color wheel it's really amazing so I really really love her packaging um, so yeah that's that one um, best color payoff it's a toss-up between this Kat Von D palette and this one and I'm just gonna go ahead and show this one because I just showed the other one um, but this Urban Decay electric palette um, this is what the packaging looks like. Urban Decay also has really good packaging too, for the most part. But Kat Von D, you can never go wrong with packaging. Um, so this is the palette. I'll go ahead and do a couple swatches for you. And these are the colors here. Look how amazing that is. I I love this palette. They're, they're, they're mattes. Um, most of these are mattes with a little bit of shimmer. And um, they can be a little streaky, but that's one swatch. And they are very buildable. So, um, yeah, I, I love this palette. If you're looking for a palette with lots of bang for your buck, like as far as color goes, you just want like a really bright um, palette, this, this is a good one. It's really nice. Um, most versatile. Um, or versatile, versatile, I don't know. Um, I would say probably this palette, and this is another one of my new faves. This is the Gwen Stefani palette from Urban Decay. Um, it has a lot of nudes, but it also has shimmers. It has a couple of nice colors, um, but I really, really love this palette. I mean, you could do smoky, you could do natural, you could do a little bit of color here. Um, you could do anything with this palette, and I really, really love it. That's what that looks like. I've only had this maybe a month, and it's been used pretty well. <laughs> I really like that palette. Um, best for traveling. Okay, so when I travel, I like to take my little minis with me. Um, I can't say one that's probably the best. Actually, one that um, I use a lot is the Naked Basics palette, which is in my purse currently. Um, that stays in my purse, uh, so, yeah. Um, when I travel, I take all of my minis. So I have here the Lorac Pro palette. This little mini guy is really nice. And this color is my favorite, this nude. As you can see, it's gone, it's falling. Like, it's, it's dust. It's, that's pan, it's empty. Um, that was my favorite highlight color, and I'll probably repurchase this little bitty palette. Because this color nude, I don't believe comes... In the full size this is my full size let me see oh dang it does look okay oh I guess all these palette or these colors in this palette I should have figured that I mean it's the mini um this is the nude color it's so creamy it's a really nice highlight color also it's so creamy all these colors are really creamy um but yeah, so I take these little bitty minis with me because, of course, that's perfect for a highlight, perfect for a base, crease, all of that. And then I take, like, these Kat Von D's with me. What is this one called? Fever Ray. It looks like that. Really nice colors. You can never go wrong with Kat Von D. And if I take all three of them, I have so many options I could do. Yes, they're all pretty much nude. I have a little bit of color with this one here. Um, but I can do so many different looks with just these three palettes. Um, now, most of the time, I'll be honest with you, I do take um, some of my big palettes, like my favorites, 
because I just can't go without them. So, but if I'm just going to go on like a day or two trip, I'll just take these little bitty babies or like in my purse, I'll switch them out. That way I have different variations. And then there you go. Um, okay. So biggest regret. I'm not going to say it's a regret, but where did it go? Uh, I don't have one in particular, but I will say I bought these just because I wanted to have them all. And that's the naked palettes or this is the, yeah, that's the naked palettes. I have all of the naked palettes and I would probably say that was my probably biggest regret because I don't need them all. They're all pretty much the same kind of, um, I feel like the colors start repeating themselves. So I feel like once you have one, you have them all, but I did want them all just because I collect palettes. So I had to have them all, but that's probably my biggest regret. I feel like when you buy that and the vice palettes, and I'll tell you why in a minute when I come up to the next question and people are probably going to hate me for this, but the vice palettes, I probably regret buying those too. Um, but I don't have them all. Um, best color names. So I really dig the Urban Decay names, but Kat Von D's palettes always have the best names. Okay, so the, these little minis, this one's called Fever Ray. This one's called Dreamer. Um, let's see this palette. This probably has the best palette names. Um, we've got Analog, Harpsichord, Rewind, Destroyer, Swoon, Fran, Legend, which I love, Vinyl, Misfit, Lemmy. Um, a hyper ballad, synth, dark wave, echo. There's just a lot of really cool names in this palette. Also in her, what is this? This is the shade and light palette. There's no names in this. One. Yes, there is. Here they are. There's no names on the inside. They're all in the back. Um, but you have Lazarus, Ludwin, Samuel, Solace. You have all kinds. Shacks. There's all kinds of really cool names and when you watch her videos and stuff they all have meaning like there's meaning to all of these names on her palettes so I really really like that um so art and her and names are her thing um really nice least used um these little guys when I first started makeup Urban Decay was like the first thing that I I started using that was like so um I bought these two guys I bought the Naked palette first, and then I bought these two. Um, I don't use this one as much. I use this one. This is a shadow box, but I don't use it as often as I should. Um, when I first got it, all I did was use this palette because of obviously the colors. This was my first like experiment with bright colors. So, um, yeah. I just don't use it anymore. Um, and these also have really good names. Sin, Flash... Indo, Lost, Free Love. So they all have really cool names. Um, these are a little uh, drying to the touch, I feel. Um, the colored ones are. Now the base color or the um, the nudes are not as bad. But um, yeah, so that's that palette. Um, this one I don't use at all. Like I bought it and I used it for a little while. But now I just don't. I even still have the little brush in there. I mean, it's been used. I just... Don't use it anymore um it's just not my favorite and I feel like these two kind of look the same I mean look at this you got the purple you got the green you got the blue they're different blues obviously but it's pretty much the same layout they just mix match like the placement of the colors but I feel like they're super super close um but again I was collecting and I just started with Urban Decay so that's that um most used or desert island palette something that i couldn't live without um i couldn't pick so <laughs> i couldn't pick between two if i had to choose it would probably be oh my gosh i didn't even pull it down hold on okay so this anastasia beverly hills palette um and why is that still on there i guess to keep it pretty um, Anastasia or Anastasia, however you want to say it. This is the self-made palette. Um, I, and I only do cruelty-free products just in case you wanted to know. Um, all these palettes are cruelty-free. Um, 
this palette and pretty much for this one color I could probably use this color for the rest of my life um, but it does have some really nice shades in here um, these are the shades I live for this color I'm actually wearing it today um, but this color here too is really amazing look at that it's like a sea foam um, all these colors are really really nice look at that purple I mean, this is like a mix between the brights that I love, the nudes that I love. You got a really awesome shimmer. You got a really awesome highlight. Look at that highlight. Um, you got some pretty mattes. I love this hot chocolate color. Like, I, I could live with, with this palette forever. I mean, you could do an eyeliner. You could do a lipstick with this. I mean, you could do anything with this. And I really, really love this palette. Um, so this is one that I couldn't live without. And it was a toss-up between that one and my Gwen Stefani palette by Urban Decay. Um, again, these are amazing colors. I probably couldn't live without this one. If, if I had to choose only two things to take with me as far as makeup goes, it would be those two. Um, I would just use my finger for everything. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't take utensils. I would just take utensils. I wouldn't take tools. I don't know. What do you call them? Brushes? The items you use to put on your makeup. <laughs> I wouldn't even take those. I would just take the palettes. Um, okay, so that's part one. I'm going to go ahead and throw part two in here just because, just because. Um, so it asks you, the next question is pick either, would you rather have a palette with an eyeliner, a brush, or nothing? Um, and I'll show you this one because I know this one still has it in there. I hate the brushes. Um, I liked them when I started buying the Urban Decay ones. The Naked ones, I'm sorry. Um, they all come with the exact same brush. No matter what Urban Decay palette you get, it's all the same. Now, the Anastasia palettes, um, the brush on this one is really nice, but I don't like this. I don't like the blank space. Like, I feel like they could have made the shadows bigger. Um, I would have rather had shadows as opposed to a brush. Um, and they're all the same, no matter what brand it is. They're the fluffy on the end and then, like, the packing brush. Um, here, I'll pull some out. Okay, so these are pretty much all Urban Decay. <laughs> They're all basically the same. Like these two, one's from the Naked 3 and one's from Urban Decay, um, the regular Naked palette. And this is from the Naked 2. Literally, they're all the same. The only thing that changed is the dual fiber. And then this is more of like, a, supposed to be a blending brush, but it's really too long and like, I don't know. And then these are supposed to be packing brushes. But these two brushes are the, like for your lid. These are exactly the same. I mean, why do you need... I feel like I would rather have the shadows. And then the Vice ones really drive me nuts. I really don't like the Vice ones. Um, they're just so small and like weird. Um, I just... I don't like the fibers. They're not... Urban Decay brushes are not my favorite brushes. I prefer the Anastasia brushes or... Um, Sephora brand brushes. I'm going to show you my Anastasia brush. Hold on. Here it is. I forgot to pull it out. Um, this one I use a lot. This one kind of mimics my favorite brush from Sephora. I really, really like this. The fibers are nice. And this brush is really nice and dense. It's perfect for your crease. This is a good one. But it goes with this palette. The self-made palette. Which I wish didn't have this stupid ribbon. Because the ribbon gets all over, like it flies everywhere. Um, so I really like this brush. But all these other ones, I don't like. This one's pretty cool because it's different colored. It's just nice to have because it goes with thing. It goes with my electric palette. But the only difference is the color. So if I had to pick, uh, I would have nothing. I really don't even care for an eyeliner. Just because I'm so weird about that blank space. Like, I don't like the blank space in the palettes. I feel like it takes away from the shadows. And when you buy an eyeshadow palette, you just want the eyeshadow. Like, that's just... Um, I do know that some of the Urban Decay palettes, like these two here... Um, let me do this one, because this one... This one has no brush. This one came with a primer potion instead. I would choose that option instead of any of the other ones. Like, give me... Give me a eyeshadow base. Like, that's really nice. I'll, I'll pay the extra five bucks or ten bucks, whatever. Um, so that's nice. Um, the next question, palette you have hit pan on. And that's the first palette that I ever got. Um, this, this is the Naked 2 palette. 
Verb and Decay, and I hit Pan on Verb right there. So, um, and I think that's the only one I fit. Oh, other than my little Lorac palette, this one here, I've totally used that one up. I don't think I've hit Pan on anything else. Let me see. No. I really like these Lorac palettes. This is another good pop. I'll save it. Hold on. I have so many palettes. Um, I almost hit pan on this one. The Silk Teddy. I love. That's my highlighter color currently. That's what I'm wearing today. I didn't put it on heavy, but you can see it. Um, there is one that I used up, and what was it? The Urban Decay. It was one of the boxes. No, it was Too Faced. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. I just really didn't like it, though, so I didn't repurchase it, but um, I did use it all up. I just didn't like it. I can't even remember what it was. So, yeah. Um, favorite limited edition. Uh, I'm going to say this Kat Von D palette. Um, again, because it's amazing, and I hope they make this part of the permanent line because when I do run out of this, I am going to want to repurchase it. Um, I'm going to swatch some of these colors. This is Echo amazing anthem synth um let's do lemmy amazing look at that that is amazing amazing colors so i really hope they make this part of her permanent line it is a little expensive but i will repurchase this if and when i do run out and i use this a lot so probably will happen soon um, okay, so the next question is a repurchase. Um, I don't think I have one that I've repurchased. Oh, wait, yes, I do. Um, Naked 2. I have two of them. <laughs> um, and this was an accident. Where did my other one go? This was an accident. And you can tell that they're two different colors, but they're both real. Um, I got them from two different. I got one from Ulta and one from Sephora. I don't know why that makes a difference. Um, I had thought I lost mine. I took it on vacation and I could not find it anywhere. And so I went and purchased another one because this was back when like Urban Decay was my life. So um, I went and bought another one. So I have two now. Um, one that I would repurchase when I run out, um, the Anastasia one, the Gwen Stefani. Is the Gwen Stefani limited edition? I don't, I, th I think all of the like, people palette I don't know are they if so this is probably another one of my favorite limited edition ones I don't buy any of the holiday ones um just because I don't know um I was going to get the peach palette but I don't know if that's limited edition I think that's gonna be like full time but you can't get your hands on it so oh and all of these chocolate bar let me get them I don't know if these are limited edition but I like these chocolate bar palettes so I prefer this one to this one just because the packaging is smaller. But yeah, and they smell amazing. I really like these. Um, okay. So the next thing is what shadow do I wish would be a single? And I know I keep referring to this palette, but I wish this pink champagne color from this self-made palette would become a single and I'm gonna swatch it for you even though I don't want to waste it look at that amazing yeah so um this pink champagne color I wish they would make a single and they may and I just don't know about it so if they make a single in this shadow and you know please let me know okay so um wild card question <clears throat> you can make up any question you wanted or there was like um just like tell us your favorite palette something you can't live without <clears throat> sorry I'm losing my voice um I just made my own question which palette would I recommend um if I could pick only one palette to recommend to somebody for like a first timer um it would be this color I'm sorry I have tape on this I don't know why why is that not coming off Anyways, this is the BH Cosmetics 120 color palette. 
And these BH Cosmetic palettes are gigantic. Look at this. That is huge. And then there's another row. So these palettes or anything e.l.f. Like e.l.f. is a really good starter. But this palette is amazing. I mean, you get 120 colors. And they're all really nice. I mean, I'm going to swatch a few of these. I mean, that's pretty good for a palette that costs, I think this was like 15 bucks. BH is really cheap, but it's really, really good. It's like e.l.f. Like they should charge a lot more. I'm glad they don't, but they should. Um, this is a really nice palette and there's so many color options. You could do so much with this. I mean, they are a little chalky, but for somebody who's first starting out, like I don't recommend you start out with a high-end brand just because you don't know if you're going to like it. You know, you're going to want to practice a lot. You're not going to want to practice with expensive palettes. Like the Naked palette was my very first palette and I just did not want to use it. So I didn't find myself using it a lot. But this palette was so cheap and like it's awesome. And there's a red. You never find a red in a palette anymore. Like there's a red. Um, so oh, look at this color. I have something in my eye. There's actually a couple of reds. Look at this row. But look at this color up here. Look at that. It's like a, I don't even know. It's like a neon. Like I said, it doesn't come off really well. They're not very like super pigmented. Some of them are. Um, but this is a really good starter palette. I feel like BH is a really good brand to start with. So yeah, I did want to talk about these Vice palettes really quickly. Um, I know this video is really long, but I purchased these, these two. This is the Urban Decay Vice, what is this, three or four? Mm, it doesn't say. I don't know, it's this one. Um, They all feel the same, like really super cheapy and plasticky. I don't like this thing. Um, They all look the same. I mean... I hate the big brush hole. They're all like cheaply made, I feel like, and they're really expensive. This is the Vice um, Reload palette, the XX palette. Um, they just feel so fake. Like, they don't feel nice at all. And they look quite a bit identical. Like, I mean, come on now. Um, so I feel like all the purples are pretty much the same. Okay, so I'm just going to give you an example. This beat down color up here, this dark purple, and then this, um, what color is this? What is that? Harlot. Okay. It's so dirty. Beat down and harlot right here. I'm going to swatch them. So we got beat down and harlot. And then from this palette, we have um, Freak Show. And what is that? Asphyxia? Asphyxia. Exfix Asphyxia. Asphyxia. I don't know. I can't say it. Okay, look at these colors. They're pretty much the same colors. I mean, maybe a shade or two lighter and darker. But they're pretty much the exact same. I mean, I don't know. If I was going to just pick one, I'd probably get this Reloaded palette. Just because I don't like the packaging of the other one. But I haven't touched these. Like I don't, I don't use these. This is probably another one of those regret palettes. Um, I probably regret these more than the Urban Decay ones. I'd rather repurchase the Urban Decay ones over and over again, as opposed to these because they're just not. I don't know. They're just and the shadows feel so dry and they're so dry on your lid. I don't even know. Like this color is pretty. What is this flame? That's really cool. But I mean, there's only a few shadows in here, and I can all I can purchase all Urban Decay shadows in singles. Like none of this is really special. Um, this one I think maybe the only one that's like different. I think this one is like um, 20 different shadows never before seen by Urban Decay or something like that. Um, so yeah, you see my little setup? I got y'all set up on like a selfie stick. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I. I just, I don't know. I probably, if I could do it over again, I would purchase this one just because this one is really nice uh, or it's nicer than all the other ones. Um, and look at this color, gold mine. 
these are really soft like this palette are they're really soft colors look at that one i'm really digging this gold mine color i'm gonna have to use that real soon Ooh. so yeah um yeah that's my palette tag video um if you do this video and you want me to watch it just leave me a link below and i'll watch it um yeah so oh this is my look today this is using the gwen stefani palette and the um anastasia self made palette I can't do falsies. I tried. I just can't. Uh, my lip color is a mix. It's a mix between the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks. Um, does this have a name? Nope. It just has a number. L-S-C-L-06. So I guess 06. Oh, yes, it does. In prize. Just kidding. Haha. <laughs> The, these are new and they're only six fifty, I think, and it's really awesome. Like, let me. They are a little drying. You can see, and I got lipstick on my teeth. That's gross. Look at that color, though. They are a little drying, so you have to put a little like a balm over them. Um, but I mean, they don't come off. Sorry, my hands like. There we go. I mean, it's there. And it dries super fast. Um, I'm going to wipe that off real quick. And then the next color is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color. Uh, what color is this? Stockholm. I knew that. I really like these two. So it's still got some of that purple on it. I really like these. Um, I'm a really big matte lipstick person. So any of the mattes I love. And I love these liquid to matte lipsticks. I'm starting to really dig these. I'm going to order some of the ColourPop ones. And I wanted Fanny Pack, but they're it's gone. I don't know. It's not on the website anymore, and it hasn't been for a while. So I don't know. But anyways, that's what I'm wearing today. I just put this one down and this one on top. And it made this color. So yeah. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.